Hey, what's up my YouTube friends? Ooh, I'm rolling. I love this wheelchair, it's the most comfy thing ever. Um, so, okay, today, basically, here's the deal. I had a yard sale 10, 11 days ago. And during this yard sale, I started noticing things my wife was pulling outside and I'm like, wait, what? Um, you know, the type of items that you would go to somebody else's yard sale and score for like two bucks, you know, and I mean, we even, I found a Super Nintendo I didn't know I had, um, DVD players, um, I can't even think of all the things right now, um, but basically what happened was I started listing things, I, I pulled things out of the pile and started listing them instead of selling them at my cheap yard sale, which I made like $230. You know, I just got hosed on all these items. Um, but that day, I ended up selling almost $600. And uh, let me let me uh, upload the graph for you really quick. Okay, so here's my sales for the last 10 days. Um, so they totaled 2450 which is basically half of the entire month. So right here on Friday was 337 This is the day I had the garage sale and found all the stuff that I got to list, and that was a great day, $551. The next day was oddly small, and then Sunday seemed like it just went nuts with all the stuff I had listed on Friday and Saturday. I listed a bunch on Saturday, um, and then we just had some okay days, 141, 81, this day sucked, <laughs> uh, 235, down to 66 or 68 and then almost 200 and today I've sold nothing. So, so as you can see, the day before the garage sale uh, was not too bad, that was a Friday. And then on that Saturday, I did almost $600 if I remember right. And um, basically it was just because I was listing like crazy. I, it wasn't necessarily the things I listed, it's just because my eBay account had activity. Uh, then on, the, the next day, Sunday, I think it was. Was it Sunday? Like, really, it was terrible. 58 bucks. But then all the things that I kept listing that day popped up, and then Monday was like record day. It was like 700 and something dollars. And now, mind you, please um, don't judge yourself if you're hearing these figures. Number one, it's taken me a long time to get to this point. And number two, I did sell some high-dollar um, shoes. Air Jordan shoes. Some were upwards of like 250. So uh, don't get hard on yourself and and uh, wonder why you're not doing these type of sales. This is like my second full year of doing this. Um, you can see my inventory all around me. It's uh, it's a yeah. It's taken a long time to get to this point. So anyway, I will quit with my rant and I am going to post. Everything that I sold in the past 10 days. So if you stay till the end, uh, thank you so much. If not, I totally understand, but uh, I would still appreciate a like and a subscribe. And uh, yeah, you follow my channel and you're gonna learn something. I promise you that. So here we go. Sorry, one more thing before we get started on those. Uh, I just want people to know I have two main goals when I source something and sell it. Um, my probably my most common goal is to find things that I can sell for 10 times profit. Um, these are like dollar and two dollar items. You know, they can be up to three and four dollar items, but usually under five. Uh, so that's that's my main goal. 10 times profit. Um, I have a lot of I don't know if you can see all these things, but I have a lot of items that will be 10 times profit. So the other goal is if I pay $10 or more, then my main goal is $10 on 10 items 10 times per day, if that makes sense how I said that. So $100 profit per day equates to $3,000 per month um, and is a $36,000 a year side hustle. And that right there is enough to go on vacations. It's enough to pay for the kids' braces. It's enough to, 
uh, buy a car for a kid. It's enough to live the life that you would want to live. It's just extra income and it doesn't get spent with the normal bills. Uh, it just comes in as magic income. It's not budgeted. And so that's the goal. That's the goal is 10 items per day, $10 profit. So, okay. Now let's get into what I sold. Thank you. Okay, I sold a lot of three of these and they are like calcium inhibitors for your lawn, I think. Uh, this is the second lot I sold. I sold those for $42.50. They'll cost me $7.75 in a flat rate mailer to ship out. And I kind of just bought those for um, sourcing content. Uh, yeah, there's that. So yes, that would have brought in about 20 bucks. Okay, here we have a uh, three pack of spider underwear. I got this at TJ Maxx. I'm gonna say it was eight bucks and it sold for 22. Uh, shipping cost me like $3.40, so. That's just one of those things, uh, yeah, not a high dollar item, just something to fill my store with that I knew I'd profit on. Yeah, I sold some of this Night Revive, which uh, if you haven't tried it out, go ahead and give it a try. It's supposed to work really well. Um, and I just sold five individual packets for $10.99, local pickup. All right, so over here, there's a, uh, four packs of these, sold for $12.50. Um, I had bigger plans when I bought all those. They, they all cost like 69 cents a piece or something. And when I first purchased those a long time ago, they were actually selling for like $10 a piece. Um, and for whatever reason, the market fell out on that one. So I'm gonna make like six bucks on that deal. Hey, I sold this Airbody saw and filer. This was featured in my Amazon uh, warehouse flips. So this one ended up selling for Took a best offer for $30 plus $4.20 shipping, and that cost me $5, so that's about $25 profit. Yeah, not bad. No, 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 20, 20, 20 bucks. <laughs> okay, over here we got three rolls of painter's tape, and these cost me $6 for all three rolls. It wasn't selling. I only sourced them because I made a video down in Vegas sourcing from like a Walgreens or CVS. Um, so these sold for $15 plus $1.25 shipping. They didn't sell for what I had them listed at as $15 for a while. So I took them down. I relisted it, added $1.25 shipping, and I kid you not, it sold like right away. So there's a little trick for you. And that's a first class one pound item. So if it's, if it's at one pound, you can still sell it or uh, do it first class because they give you like a a one ounce variance or something, and it costs $5.70 to ship out. Not too bad. Okay, right here we have this uh, log, like fake log set. I've had this for a long time, and I can't even remember what I paid for it. Unless the price is on the bottom. I'm gonna say I paid 20 bucks for it. I feel pretty confident with that. It sold for $72.50 and it's gonna cost me 16 to ship out. So 36, then you gotta take on the seven. So, you know, I made about 30 bucks on it. Had it about a year. So it's the kind of thing that I'm surprised it sold right now in the middle of the summer. Anybody else? Okay, up next, these are Michael Kors slippers or sandals, I should say. They sold for $28. And uh, I do, I typically do women's clothing items, free shipping. I, I feel like they like that. So uh, these I got $4.99 at Ross, sold them for $28. It's going to cost me um, like $4.50 to ship out. So you're looking at like uh, 17 bucks or so profit, 15 after fees. So keep your eye on Ross. All right, over here in my half death pile and half, I don't know what this stuff all is. I don't know where I'm going to find this. Oh, over here. I sold this puka shell necklace and a Jesus cross necklace for $10. <laughs> it's going to Hawaii of all places. Um, yeah, so this person paid $10 and this was on consignment from a local guy. So it's just like a $2, $3 profit. But I love having things like that in my store so that, um, yeah, you gotta have, you gotta have things listed for cheap 
for people to give you a follow. So, okay, next we have this uh, mildew blocker. These, I can't remember the exact price of these. I think there was a bunch that were 90 cents or under, and I'm gonna say these are 90 cents a piece. So a buck 80 into them, they sold for $20 plus, let's see, no, $22, $22.99. And they're gonna cost me a flat rate of $7.75 to ship out. So yeah, we end up making about 10 bucks or so on them, not quite. Yeah, 10 bucks, 10, 12. So keep your eye on cleaning supplies at Home Depot. Okay, somewhere up here, if you see it before I do, shout out. Just kidding. Somewhere up here is an old, is it up there? Oh, here it is. What did I pay for that? $3, I think I got it for two though. I'm gonna say I got it for two. Um, this guy lets me private garage sale shop. And when I do that, I just get a big pile together and I make offers and then we bundle it up and say, okay, this is the total price. This thing is like hella, hella vintage. I don't know if it's antique, which antique is technically 100 years old. Hope you know that. Okay, this sold for 20 bucks. So I'm making like eight bucks on it. So this is the kind of item I like to have in the store to attract uh, antique buyers. So if they see that I have a bunch of this kind of stuff, you know, they, they'll follow me. It's not the hugest sell, but yeah. It's a loss leader. There you go. That's the term, loss leader. All right, guys. So now it's Tuesday, and like we're pushing for a record week this week. So um, I'm keeping this video going. So here we have this uh, this vest. I got this for free from. I don't know if you saw the video, but uh, a guy gave me a bunch of stuff. He was moving to Alaska. So this one's pure profit. We've already. I ended up giving him thirty five dollars uh, because I felt guilty, and we've already doubled that and still got like 99 shirts left. This one sold for $23.75 plus $8.25 shipping. So, yep, it's good profit. <laughs> okay, we have a new most ridiculous sale of the week. And so I took a chance on this little Mickey Mouse piece. It was um, 75 cents at a clearance place. Had a $36.99 tag on it, so I'm like, ah, we'll see. Ended up selling for a dollar and ninety nine cents plus three twenty five shipping, so there's that. Sorry, a little break in the video. Um, if you have not seen Nike's new shoe that they make out of garbage from the factory, they're awesome. They're awesome. I'm gonna list them on my eBay store if you want to buy them. We have this pair of Under Armour shoes. I've had these for a long time. I paid fifteen dollars for these. They're like a dealer sample. And anyway, finally sold for $30. So I took the best offer and it'll cost me $5.72 to ship. Okay, so I sold my last pair of Royal Toes and this one is uh, StockX certified, which makes it uh, a little extra valuable. So I ended up selling those for $279. And so I made about $40 on that shoe. Um, I could have waited another year, but uh, yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm making a push for eBay here. Sorry, I could have waited another year and it would be up to like 350, but I just, yeah, there you go. Okay, up next we have this super heavy, awesome autoclave with a bunch of tongue rings and uh, earrings and nipple rings and uh, other body part rings inside waiting to be um, sanitized. So this sold for $150 free shipping. And I don't remember what the shipping is. I think it was, it's pretty, it wasn't that bad. It's going one state away. I think it was like 30 bucks. Um, so anyway, make uh, 120 bucks off the deal or so. This is on consignment, so I split the profits with a local guy. Okay, and then here we have this Horny Martian Breaks album. Never listened to it. I don't have speakers for my um, record player. So anyway, yeah. This sold for $13.99. It was, I offered them a dollar under what I was asking and they paid $2.80 to ship out on media mail. I'll put this between two pieces of cardboard and we'll call it good to go. Okay, we sold a game. This one is No Man's Sky. So these averaged out to cost me, I don't know, maybe 25, 50 cents. I also got this in the deal, which you're selling for like over a hundred or something bucks. I paid 45 for everything, so 
I mean, I guess this might have been free. It sold for $14.69 plus a little shipping, $2.80 shipping. But I'm not going to sh ship it media mail because they've been screwing me lately. I am going to bump it up to first class. Which, if you're interested, will cost, it was uh, $3.02. Okay, first up, we have a two-pack of this Capture uh, Cleaner. It's a carpet cleaner. It's really good stuff. I've done well on it. Um, I, what did I pay for these? It was something like... 90 cents. It was on the bottom of a shelf at Home Depot. They were really dirty. I got like 10 of them. I sold those two for 22 bucks, 21.99, and I'm going to do them uh, in a flat rate padded mailer. I've got to go reprint the label and go send these out before I finish these videos because it has to go out today. Next, we kind of have the most ridiculous sale of the uh, weekend. So there's a two pack of these uh, Willow Tree uh, figurines. So I got those for $2 at the yard sale. And I'm shipping them out with FedEx for, um, it was like $8.25. So I made like seven or eight bucks when all said and done. Okay, up next we have a retail arbitrage type item. Okay, so there is four boxes of these watches. Uh, regular price at Walmart was 20 something dollars a box. They marked them down to $5 a box, if you can see that. So I paid $20 for the four boxes. I ended up clearing them out for 60 bucks and I'm gonna put them in a flat rate A mailer for 12 bucks and change. So uh, we're looking like a $20, $20 profit after fees. Okay, we've got these two Morgan Silver Dollars. This one is especially pretty. I love Morgan Dollars. If you ever get your hands on them for under 20 bucks, depending on the price of silver, then uh, pick those up. So I sold these for a total of $53.08 on auction, and it's gonna cost me like three bucks to ship out. So that's 50 minus fees. Of course I did pay something for those back in the way, David. Uh, that was out of my personal collection, so I consider, uh, yeah, I mean, everything said and done, I made like 20 bucks or so. Uh, next sale, these uh, Air Jordan shoes, these are called the Court Purple. This is an Air Jordan 1. If you're into shoes, you can get these for retail when they come out for $190 and they will always go up. This shoe sold for $265. And uh, there's no fees to eBay on this shoe, only 3% to PayPal. I don't remember what I paid for this exact shoe. I'd have to look that up. But shipping cost me $16. Okay, here's a bolo for you. Uh, you probably have these laying around your house, but... These are still selling fairly hot, uh, but it is going down. During the height of the pandemic, they were super hot. You couldn't get them, I guess. Um, this is the first ones I've sold. We were selling these at the yard sale, and I'm like, nope. So I put them on for 35 bucks, free shipping, and they sold within like under an hour. Under an hour. These will cost me $7.75 in a flat rate padded mailer. Good little sale. We don't even use them. Okay, so if you follow me intently, which I'm sure you do, you know that I've sold a ton of these tables, even this upside down one. This, uh, these cost me $31 exact at Home Depot. These cost me um, 20, like 22 bucks through FedEx to ship out currently. And they sell for $90 plus. Um, I typically don't charge shipping, but yeah, they've been a good item for me. 20 or so dollars. Per table and I've sold like I don't even know <laughs> all right let's go search through my crap huh over here somewhere oh there it is it's hiding this Amish made supposedly oh wait yeah is this it yeah Amish made birdhouse I don't know if this is the one well I hope it's the one because it's the only one I have left uh, I've had a bunch of these they were all under four dollars a piece this one sold for $29.98 and costing me, geez, almost 12 bucks to ship out. This person lives in uh, um, Clifton Heights, Pennsylvania. Man, Pennsylvania always kills me. Anyway, all right, there you have it. Hey, Oscar picked up this bat, which I got for $2 at a yard sale. Uh, I did feature this on what I got at a yard sale about two weeks ago. And this one ended up selling for $23.50. And it's like a $9 ship out. So not a huge profit, but you got to have something in your store, right? You've got to have items in your store that you're making like seven, eight bucks a piece on. If you want traffic to sell $300 shoes, that's just the way it goes.
Okay, here we have another retail arbitrage item. This is Rat X, and they these all cost me under a dollar, maybe I want to say 80 to 90 cents a piece. This one sold for $14, cost me $5.70 to ship out. I'm just going to put it in a uh, poly mailer with some bubble wrap. Okay, so here we have an item that I screwed up on. Uh, yeah, that's frustrating. I just found this out as I'm standing here, okay? And this is uh, part of my, like, not having good enough like accounting, okay? So with fees on StockX, I hate StockX. These sold for, I paid, I paid $300 for these and I paid that much at a time when these shoes were going hot and projected to be hotter in the future. I decided to liquidate some of those right now. I thought that this was a pair that I had bought at retail and it's not. I just lost 40 bucks on this pair of shoe. So this sold for 200 and, $59.99, kind of like the other one, but this is a blue one, and uh, man, whoever got this shoe, Edwana Reed, or sorry, Edwana, um, yeah, you got a good deal, because this is a StockX certified, so that's certified legit if it's got a StockX tag on it, she got a great deal, and I got hosed, and let's move on to the next item. I guess I'm not going to be that hard on myself because I know that I do have many others that I did pay retail on. Uh, yeah. Still bothers me. So the next item I have is this used Oral-B Triumph toothbrush. This was free uh, when I got all those shirts from that family. You cannot sell used toothbrushes like this on eBay as a used item. It's got to be for parts only not working or brand new. I put it as new because that's the only way um, I had to say that it works and you can buy it for parts. It was weird, but uh, anyway, sold for 15 bucks and uh, yeah, the buyer paid shipping, so I don't know. Sorry, sometimes I stutter through these when I'm ultra tired like today. So the next item up is these boot socks that I got for $2 on my local uh, you know, farmer supply when I was getting some bolts. I saw those there. These ended up selling for $6 plus $3.12 shipping because they were sitting around for a while. I didn't want to just, I didn't want to have them anymore. So, yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, yeah, this is one of those free shirts, Asterix brand. This is a long sleeve. It ended up selling on, I guess it was on the, auction for ten dollars plus four dollars and seventy cents shipping so basically that's like nine dollars profit for me yeah okay here we have a dune of london backpack i'm not sure why this took so long to sell because they sell all day long on ebay it might just because i'm not known for selling purses i guess i don't know there are certain sites that just sell purses on there so it ended up selling for $32. I have to pay shipping, which is costing me like uh, $7.84. It's just going one state away, so that's super cheap. Lucky for me. Um, I'd have to look at what I paid. I used to keep really good track. I think I paid 20 bucks for that at TJ Maxx or something. So not, yeah. Unless you're going to specialize in purses, don't, don't do purses, in my opinion. Okay, here we have another pair of Air Jordan. These are the Retro 3, size 10 and a half. These ended up selling for an even 250. Uh, there is a website, or there's a site on eBay that does auctions on these starting at 99 cents. They can get competitive, for sure, but you can get some good deals too. Just remember that you can't buy more than five items from any one vendor on eBay in a week. So I, I usually get up, get a little crazy and just bid like crazy on that site. So those shoes I ended up getting for, um, oh, I'd have to look. I think, I want to say 162 plus their crazy fees and shipping of 15 bucks. So I think they almost cost me $200. So I'm making 50 bucks there. No fees to eBay on that one. And they're costing me uh, $9.99 to ship out to Missouri. Come inside to get this last order of the day and... This is what I'm talking about. I found out we have this and those three games because we had a yard sale. Can you believe that? I mean, she probably would have sold that for five bucks at the yard sale or less to somebody 
like me who's looking for stuff like that. <laughs> so, yeah, have a yard sale. You'll see what's up. Anyway, we have the last item of the day. These Adidas Girl shoes sold for $50. Um, I can show you exactly what I paid for them because I have the sticker. I always keep the sticker in the left shoe. Uh, $9.99. So I sold them for $50. These are from Ross. I have a whole pile of shoes that I paid between $2.99 and $10 for. So keep your eye out at Ross because you'll make some good money. Okay, so I sold this Morgan Silver Dollar for $28 plus $4.20 shipping. I love coins, um, but I've decided to shrink my collection just a little bit, so I sell some from time to time. I probably paid 15 to 20 bucks for this, and yeah, there's $10 profit. Okay, I sold one of these for $21.49. Um, I paid eight for these, a little higher than I would think that I would pay for something, but I think I did really pay eight. I think my goal was to list these in lots of two or four, and I would have made a better profit margin. Um, but I did sell three of these to, um, let's see, what is his name? He lives in Puerto Rico. Jesus? Yep, Jesus, out of Port, Puerto Rico. So, Jesus, there you go. He bought three of these, and it was like 65 bucks, free shipping. So, I paid 32 So... I made my goal of uh, at least 10 bucks on that. All right, so I gotta pull this over here. These, so yeah, I paid 250 for these and I've been selling them for 15. Um, when I first bought them, the comps were higher. Anyway, oh, and I also wanted to use them around my house. So I bought enough to pay for the ones I used. So yeah, she paid 15, free shipping. So I'll end up making 10 bucks, um, nah, eight bucks on this. So, which is fine, cause I got some free ones to use. But thanks Deborah from Virginia. All right, so over here somewhere we got, oh, here it is. Oh, can you believe this game is worth upwards of like 40 bucks sometimes? I guess it's from 2002 or four. Yeah, I think it's 2004. Anyway, some of these vintage games, well, this wouldn't be vintage, but nearing. The, anyway, they're going for great money. I mean, look at Stone Cold, man. Was that when he was like uh, governor of Minnesota? So yeah, anyway, end rant. This sold for $32.50. It'll cost me $2.80 to ship out. Media mail, which uh, media mail sucks. Actually, you know what? I paid for first class on this one, $3.31. Okay, for real, I thought I just had a bunch of shoes stolen. So these I all got from the outlet, the Nike outlet. Um, oh, come on. So these at the outlet right now, at the Nike outlet, these are going for um, $30 and 30% off. So I paid $21. Kind of cute shoes. Um, Anyway, these retail for like 65 and I sold them for 50 They cost eight something to ship out. So um, not my goal of 10 times profit, but my other goal for items is at least $10, 10 items per day. And so yeah, that concludes my um, 10 day average of $245 record sales.